this is Nick Nelson, the Mad Scientist of Muscle, and what I've got for you today is a review of a really cool piece of training equipment that I've been testing out, and that is the Fat Grips Extreme. Now, if you've heard of Fat Grips before, um, you'll be kind of familiar with the concept. I've got a pair of the originals for you to have a look at right here. Here's a close-up view. Now, basically what these are is a way to do fat bar training. Now, you clap these onto the bar, and this allows you to get a wider grip on the bar, which increases neuromuscular activation of the target muscles such as the chest. It also increases um, forearm involvement and grip strength. So this is a great piece of training equipment and one that I highly recommend, especially if you're first starting out with the uh, fat bar training. Fat grips means you don't have to use an actual fat bar in order to get the benefits of it. Now, these fat grips are the originals, the blue ones. The product I'm reviewing here for you today is the fat grips extreme. Now, here's another close-up view. You can see and I'll hold these side by side here, the difference in size on these. Basically the fat bar, Fat Grips Extreme, is you know, a fair bit wider than this, so it's going to give you even greater benefits than the original Fat Grips. Now, both of these are excellent, and if you're first starting out with the Fat Bar Training, definitely start with the blue ones, the originals. Once you're ready, then you can graduate to these big red ones here. Now, I'm going to give you a quick demo here on a few exercises, I'm just with very light weight, so you can see exactly how these attach onto the bar how the exercises are done. All right, so the first exercise I want to demo for you here is the barbell bench press. Now, what I like to do with these is use the Olympic rings here on the Olympic bar as the guide. So what I'll do is set these here, clamp these on. Now, for my group width, what I find is that, I don't know if you can kind of see up front here, this kind of tapers in at the, uh, the center here. So what I do is I line up this inside taper right on the smooth ring of the uh, Olympic bar so I can gauge exactly how far I need to put it so I know exactly where I need to put it on the other side as well. So clap it on here, clap it on the other side. So once you kind of gauge your distance then you'll know exactly where you need to put it because the feel is going to be a bit different than on the regular flat bench simply because you know you have a much wider grip so definitely play with a little bit with just the bar and then give it a try now the other thing to note on here is that the range of motion is going to be a little bit greater because you're adding about an inch um, of thickness with the solid with the solid rubber there so uh, one other key point is you always want the open gap part to be on top so other than that the movement is basically exactly the same What you'll also find when you come to lockout is that it's actually greater contraction at the top because when your hands are clamped around the wide bar, it really forces a greater contraction in the chest. So, in that respect, a very good way to uh, increase chest involvement as you're doing bench press. So, let me move on to chin-ups. And to do chins with the fat grips, very simple. It's going to be just clapping these things onto the chin-up bar. Now, again, with these ones, you had the open gap um, on the top when you're doing the bench press with this want the open gap to be on the bottom because you're basically going to be pulling down. If you have the gap on the top, the thing is going to slide right off the bar. So make sure that gap, the opening, is down at the bottom. Take a really, really wide grip on this and clamp down hard. This is really going to hit the grip extremely strongly. So one thing you'll notice as you're doing these, you're really going to have to really clamp hard with your thumbs. You're really going to feel that right up the inside of the forearm. So um, your forearms are going to fail before everything else, just so you know. But as you keep on doing these and keep focusing on that, you can actually do these as a drop set where you can do uh, fat grips, chins, as many as you can do until your grip gives out on the fat grips. Slide these out of the way and then you continue without the fat grips. So you're basically pushing your forearms as far as they can and then you're uh, jumping in and pushing your back and your biceps as hard as you can too. Right. Now the fat grips aren't just for barbell and body weight training. You can also attach these onto dumbbells doing curls, presses, essentially any kind of dumbbell exercise and one of the best benefits of this is that wide open fat grip hand position. I find that really increases the neuromuscular activation especially in the biceps, the shoulders, the chest it's really powerful stuff. Now, here's a quick demo using the dumbbells. As you can
you can see, this snaps right onto the dumbbell very easily. When you're doing it for curls, you want this gap to be on the outside so that your gripping is not across that gap. Now you're really going to have to clamp down hard. It's basically like curling a piece of thick firewood. And the movement, exactly the same, gripping extremely hard as you're doing the curl. So, as you're curling, really clamp down on your grip, and you really feel a strong contraction at the top. Like I said, you can also do this with shoulder presses, uh, bench press, pretty much anything is going to be uh, uh, fine to do with these fat grips. Now, one thing I will note is when you're doing very heavy dumbbell bench press, it's going to be a lot harder to actually pick those dumbbells up on your own. So you might actually need a spotter in order to do heavy dumbbell press with the fat grips. Because basically if you're taking a 120 pound dumbbell off the ground with a very wide grip, unless you have an extremely strong grip already, you're not going to be able to do that. So uh, you might be able to pick it up, you may not be able to set it down under control. So just a little something to be aware of there, um, especially if you're using heavy dumbbells with the fat grips. Uh, in that case, you might want to switch to doing heavy barbell presses instead. So just a side note there. Okay, so bottom line, as you can probably tell, I really like the fat grips extreme. I think it's an excellent piece of training equipment. You can fit it in your gym bag, you can bring it with you wherever you go. It allows you to really harness the power of fat bar training without having to actually have a fat bar, which is huge. And you know, fat bars by themselves are great, but they can be extremely expensive. So this gives you a lot of versatility, it gives you a lot of different movements you can do. Any dumbbell, pretty much any barbell exercise is going to be very effective. Um, one thing you will need to know is that it will tax your grip and your grip will fail before everything else. So like I showed you with the chin-ups, you can actually do it in a drop set format where you do as many reps as you can using the fat grips and then you slide them out of the way and then you do as many more reps as you can with the regular grip. So that's pretty much how I get around that when I'm doing training with these. Um, like I said, very effective uh, training equipment. Click the link below and you can learn more about these and get a pair for yourself.